Road to the Breeders' Cup continues, and this week we have the Grade 1 Breeders' Cup Classic, $5 million. A full field of 10, let's take a look, starting at the rail. Tonalist enters with a 6-for-14 record, back-to-back -back winner of the Jockey Club Gold Cup, and he's a true 10 furlong distance horse. Been running in all the big races this year, not too many horses have competed in the Metropolitan, the Suburban, the Whitney, and the Jockey Club. Prepped at the beginning of the year in a couple of mile races. He's lightly raced this year, fresh and fit. Should be able to get 10 furlongs. If the track comes up sloppy or a little off, it moves him up even further as he is 2 for 5 at the distance and 2 for 2 on an off track. Keen Ice, this horse, picked up a win the last time out in the Traverse Stakes. The key thing with him is he is 2 for 11 lifetime. He's lost seven races by six links or more. So he's kind of an in-and-outer, been placed over his head multiple times in his career. Can't imagine him picking up two victories in a row with a 2 for li 11 a lifetime record. Frosted, big win last time out in the Pennsylvania Derby, was third in the Travers, lost to American Pharaoh three times this year in the Travers, the Belmont, and the Kentucky Derby, but he's probably the second best horse of his generation. Seems to be picking up a good time to, to get better. Joel Rosario back in the Irons, who's ridden him multiple times, and I expect him to run a good race. Been training forwardly. American Pharaoh, the Triple Crown winner, he will be on the engine or near the lead. Has the class and the form. The one thing out is his speed figures are a little bit light, but I'm not sure if those speed figures are accurate. His Preakness, really, that was one in a monsoon. The Kentucky Derby, uh, slow final quarter. Slow final quarter in the Travers. So I'm, I'm wondering if his best distance really is 10 furlongs. At 9 furlongs, he would be the horse to beat. Still going to be a, uh, a horse to contend with, especially on the engine, especially with that post position. Until you pass him, he's the horse to beat. Glenn Eagles, never been on the dirt, ships in over from Europe, was scratched a couple of times this summer, so only had one prep race since June 16th. That was just a couple of weeks ago. Now he has to ship across the country, across the world, and run in a grade one against the best dirt horses in America. First time on the dirt. He does get Ryan Moore, who's a world-class jockey, and first Lasix. I, I think he'll show some speed, and he's probably better than that last race shows. I think he could get a piece of the purse. F and X will be closing late. Beat Tonalist a few races back, but then came back and got trounced by Tonalist by 11 in the last race. I'm not sure he's peaking this time of the year. I think he'll run his race, and that's probably good for fourth or fifth. Smooth Roller, big win last time out in the Awesome again. Now three for four lifetime. Lightly raced four-year-old by Hardspun. Picked up a nice win last time out, but that was against weak, weaker competition. think it's going to be hard-pressed for him to get a piece of this race. Hard Ace has been going off form ever since a Hollywood Gold Cup win at 8-1. to one. Was 14-1 to one and 9-1 to one in his last two races. Now faces tougher horses. Has already lost a smooth roller, roller and beholder. Just can't imagine him getting a piece of the purse. Honor Code has never ran 10 furlongs. He's 6 for 10 lifetime. He's tenacious. Monster met, met Mile this summer. Big victory in the Whitney coming from behind to nail Liam's map. I think Liam's map's probably the best horse in the country. Didn't enter the, the Classic because 10 furlongs was a concern, but at 9 furlongs and 8 furlongs, Liam's map would be favored over many of these horses. Honor Code, working up a storm lately. I think Suge McGahee has this race in mind all year, has said so in multiple interviews since February. I think they're going to let him go and I think he's going to be running late in this race, has a big shot to win. Beholder, classy filly. She has beat the boys already once in the Pacific Classic. That was her only race at 10 furlongs. Always been a little questionable at 9 to 10 furlongs. Faces other speed in Frosted and American Pharaoh. I just don't think she can get the distance, but she should get the perfect trip from the outside. I think any one of four horses can win. Beholder, American Pharaoh, Tonalist, and Honor Code. I'm going with Tonalist. I think he's just the best horse at 10 furlongs. I think Honor Code's going to run a strong race as well. So my top two are Tonalist and Honor Code, American Pharaoh, a big shot. That's the 2015 Grade 1 Breeders' Cup Classic.